Chell, second game of pre-season, uh, a 4-0 defeat to Preston. Uh, what were your thoughts on today's game? Um, disappointed with the first half um, and the first half. Not just the manner of goals conceded, because, again, it's, uh, I suppose, a work in progress in that way, but um, the overall... The overall mentality really, more than anything. Um, second half, much better. Um, the first 15 minutes for the lads who stayed on for that, for that hour was better. Um, and the lads who came on for the last half an hour, um, in fairness, did well. There was much more in, intent and, and purpose to our play. Um, but not a good workout, let's say. We'll see. Ultimately, this is about ticking boxes and getting closer to being able to complete 90 minutes or complete 90 minutes with the required... Um, level of output uh, and we'll obviously see where we are we, no one likes losing um, but we played against a, a very good team um, but there were as much as there were some like I say disappointing signs in the first half that I wasn't happy about um, it gives us a, an opportunity to to address them now and let people know where they where they stand the reaction we got from half time was like I say was really pleasing and some even though again in defeat, you have to learn, but certainly some positives and lots of positives. Uh, I was talking to Luke uh, on radio commentary before, was saying that today the intensity of the game and the pace of it seemed to be much higher than Tuesday. Was that something you were prepared for? Yeah, listen, we played against them last year, and, and ultimately they are a, a very, very good team. They're a championship team that um, were up there competing um, until the very end in, in that division. So we knew today it would be difficult. Sometimes you and I don't like doing it you have to realise the levels that you're at um, and if we'd have approached playing or if we, if we were playing Preston in a not a, not, a, not a meaningful game in a game where it was a competitive game I think then we'd have to set up an awful lot differently than what we did today ultimately today is about us trying to get out of the game what we need to um, not worrying too much about the, about the, the score and, and, and how that goes um, I think in a normal circumstances we do everything we can to, to stop them, not, not worry about ourselves too much. But today was, um, we knew it would be a step in, in, in intensity. It was that. The lads will have got an awful lot out of it. Um, and hopefully it'll be the same on, same on Tuesday evening. Uh, despite the score, and obviously there was uh, two penalty saves, one in either half by each keeper, made a lot of saves as well, uh, apart from those. Were you, despite the score, I'm pleased with uh, the performance from the two trials keepers? Um, yeah, listen, they both uh, have done have done okay since they've been in, done themselves no harm. I was, I was more disappointed that defensively, certainly, we were a little bit all at sea um, through individual mistakes, through, again, they're a good side um, and are going to create opportunities. One thing you can't do is give them simple goals and, and we gave them gave them simple goals with simple balls over the top where um, we've not so much not tracked runners, we've been done by decent movements but they, they can't they can't happen. Um, so people need to like I say need to learn from it. All to be keepers are there to make saves and they've made some made some decent saves. Um, and there's been some, like I say, been some good stuff, and ultimately we've got decisions to make moving forward about which ones we we keep and which ones potentially we can't offer anything to. Uh, second half, we had the likes of uh, Ash Emmons at left back, Luke Burke at centre back. In accommodating the the trial of players, does it also give you a, a bit of free run then to sort of experiment with the players we already do have? Yeah, we did that in the like I say, we did that in the first game. Um, I think just with with where we are, ultimately we've got a with the squad we're going to have, we ain't going to carry. 24 players and have uh, two players for every position so ultimately needs must at times um, Berkey we know can play play centre back will hopefully have an opportunity to, to play him at, at right back on, on Tuesday because hopefully Wits will be back but obviously with us having three centre half sign and one having been out for 10 week or 10 days um, it's meant we've had to shift the centre half bits around a little bit um, but people like I say, will have to do jobs in different roles and people will have to do jobs um, I suppose in, in different systems, which we'll we'll continue to look at, not just um, not just through the course of pre-season. Ultimately, we'll work on it when we're in every day in training, uh, and if we need to accommodate a, a different system to play against different opposition, then we'll be in a position where we we, we certainly know our jobs and know what we're doing, and, and we'll have comfort in the fact that players will have been used to um, or had an experience of playing in that position and know what we what we expect from them. 
And finally, uh, Blackpool on Tuesday nights, the uh, final football league opposition of pre-season. Uh, what sort of a, a test do you expect him from that? Um, it, it's, it's hard. I, th- I think that they're obviously going to be um, reinvigorated by the fact they've got new owners. Hopefully there'll be a good crowd here, a new manager, um, a squad that needs needs putting together. But ultimately, they had a decent season last season. Um, we've got to, like I say, we've got to worry about, worry about us. We'll go out and we'll play a game and, and we'll try and play in the way that we want to play um, as a result of that um, we may leave, our, leave ourselves open at times but ultimately it's about um, the minutes that the players need in order to take them to that next level so the lads who have played 30 minutes tonight and have, today sorry enough have worked hard afterwards on the pitch will get an opportunity to do that for, for longer hopefully on Tuesday and um, barring any injuries and, and reactions from today um, that was the plan and will still be the case thanks John